I guess to start off with, can we just go ahead and maybe jump in and maybe just tell me just a little bit about Sphere Breaks, who you are, what you do, that, that good stuff? Sure. So uh, Sphere Breaks uh, was founded at the start of 2016, and we built a company around the technology that I invented back when I was serving in Iraq. And up until about 2016, uh, we had to do a lot of bootstrap development to get it to a point where we could bring on some serious investors and gain some traction in a very conservative industry that uh, we're playing in right now. So, um, but basically, uh, since 2016, we've been running at full speed, uh, iterating fast and, and really uh, challenging some very conservative industries and how they think about breaking and what breaking can do for those industries for the future. Got it. Got it. Now you, I know you're located in, is it Pennsylvania? Is that right? Yes. We're uh, located in Erie, Pennsylvania. Okay. Got and it. Uh, we're actually co-located with uh, one of our affiliate companies. Okay. Great. Now, can you describe the brake system itself? I guess the technology yeah. or what makes it different from, you know, maybe a normal drum brake or caliper rotor, that sort of thing. Sure. So the best way I can explain it, and it, it's nice because anyone can explain it this way, is essentially you take a fist and you imagine that as the sphere rotor. And then you take your hand and cup around your fist, and that is your hemispherical brake pad. And then just imagine uh, one, two, three, many uh, hemispherical pads around a spherical brake surface, and that's the sphere brake. And that has inherent uh, uh, value, the multi-axial brake force application uh, that, it, that the sphere rotor induces generates a lot more torque in a much smaller package. Okay, now is this for automotive or is this like heavy duty market? So fortunately, we've been able to scale it across the board where we started with the heavy trucks in the commercial vehicle segments. Uh -huh. Now we're in military. We're in racing and uh, soon to be an egg. So, got it. Wow. So, how the heck did you come up with this idea? I mean, you, are you an engineer? I mean, what? What? How did you think of this this design? Yeah. Well, I'm an ideas guy, and I just so happen to have leadership experience from the military and product design experience from my bachelor's degree in furniture design. Uh, believe it or not, so um, it, it's a very atypical route for a founder and CEO of a, of a new technology uh, specific to mechanical engineering in the brake industry. Um, but, you know, I've pulled a lot of resources together and I surround myself with very smart people. And um, we just, uh, you know, leverage their expertise and the network's expertise uh, to deliver value to our potential customers. Yeah. I mean, so sort of like, were you like sitting, like changing a brake pad or something? You said, Son, this, I hate, you know, and you slammed it on the ground and said, there's got to be a better way. Or did you just, did you just start messing with it and said, hey, no, no, we, uh, cool picture? So I had like this, just this idea of the sphere of breaking thing, and it really had no application to auto whatsoever. Um, you know, I, I was in Kuwait and I had this idea, so I put it on paper as we were acclimating to the heat. Uh, of the Middle East. And, you know, I, I just started mechanically putting things together. I have a background racing motocross and, and re rebuilding engines. So I, I kind of knew how to things to go, how things go together. That coupled with furniture allowed me to come up with this industrial design. And then once I came back from Iraq, I was able to meet a very key mentor early on. And that was uh, BJ Lechner, who used to run Dana Corporation here in Erie. And as soon as he saw this, he's like, man, we got to go auto. We, we got to try it out in the auto industry. Not sure if it's going to work, but we got to at least take a look at it. Got it. So now do you, is it, is it a working, like, are you in startup mode? I mean, is it a working prototype or do you, are you guys actually in production supplying sphere brake systems to your customers? Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're actually in very mature product development. I would say at this point, we've already demonstrated it on vehicles we demonstrated it in the field, uh, and you know we're currently working through uh, an SBIR grant right now with the military, and um, it, it's moving very, very quickly uh, in multiple segments in multiple industries. 
Got it. Um, but we're gonna, it's not going to be too far down the road here that we're actually going to be supplying these to customers. Okay. Wow. So I guess my net, my next thought would be, or question is, you know, this is different than a traditional brake system. Right. So how, are you manufacturing it on your own? Like, did you design the equipment to make it or did you find some people that could produce the friction pads that right. are obviously much different than a normal pad? So the benefit of our technology is that, you know, we're, we're able to manufacture every component without having to come up with some crazy new tooling or new casting methods or new friction material. We're really just using a different geometry uh, in, in leveraging that to unlock new value for industries. And fortunately, I'm able to manufacture almost everything through my affiliate companies who already have vast customers in the auto industry and in the aerospace industry and in all kinds of industries that we're going to be pursuing. So a lot of the capital costs that are normally uh, required for something like what we're doing is severely hedged in, in our favor. Got it. Okay. Um, so we kind of touched on this too, the market, sir. So what's your, what's your core, I guess, is it, is it the heavy duty or is it the automotive or, is it, are, you, or are you honestly going after all the different? We're stuff? going after everything. Everything. But yeah. the, the core is the heavy duty, medium duty stuff. And yeah, that's just where we start. And that's where a lot of the momentum is. And, and our success is predicated on going down the path of least resistance. So got it. Got it. And this is all OE related, right? Not, I guess obviously it's a dumb question. So it's not, it's not aftermarket. It's OE, right? It's yeah, mostly, mostly. I mean, obviously racing, there's no OE in racing. It, well, there is, but not really yeah. when you're talking about supplying these sure. kind of things. So yeah, got it. Okay, cool, man. Well, that's, that's exciting. So, I mean, what's next? I mean, like, what, where are you, I guess it's to clarify the business say, so obviously I know you guys are still a young company but it sounds like you guys are, are making some some definitely some progress getting some momentum so what are we going to be seeing next from sphere breaks I, I think the the next uh major step is production and that's happening very soon uh and that, that's just the natural progression and it's not gonna be for everything everything takes you know anything break related is usually built in very conservative industries or heavily regulated industries so it just takes time to to get the, the um, procurement side of uh, OEs interested and willing to take a, a risk on what we're trying to do. Um, but when we get customers in the room, it's easy. It's game on. Got it. That's awesome. That's exciting, AJ. It's pretty cool. I, uh, I've enjoyed kind of, you know, obviously offline talking about the company and how you guys yeah. are missing and stuff. So I, uh, I appreciate you joining me today. This has been fun. I, I greatly appreciate it, Brian, and I, and I thank you for allowing me to get in front of your audience. Yeah, no, no problem at all. And we'll uh, we'll definitely have to do this again. We'll we'll, we'll set it down in the future because I look forward to maybe we can check in again and see yeah. uh, see what, what, what progress and uh, see how the company grows. So it'll be fun. All right. Well, you take care. You too, sir.